Hi, I'm Laura Quirk from Technique Peak. Today I want to talk to you about what happens to us women when we have a baby. Um, there is such a thing as a common birthing pattern that occurs in our pelvis when we're having a baby. So the first thing that's going to happen is that when we are pregnant and we're holding that baby and the baby starts to drop in, what's going to happen is the ilium are going to flare out laterally and the sacrum is going to counter mutate and come back into an extended position to accommodate the dropping of the baby down into the birth canal. So that's the first thing that's gonna happen. Then what happens is during labor and delivery, the ilium are now gonna to come together, the ischium are going to splay apart to, you know, to accommodate the baby coming out of the birth canal and what's gonna happen is the sacrum is then going to nutate forward and the coccyx and the lower portion of the, of the ILA bilaterally are gonna come back outward and flare out. So that's to assist the birthing process. And then what's gonna also happen is that the baby's head commonly turns, the back of the head commonly turns where it hits back on this left pubic rami as it's coming out. So usually what'll happen too is that this left pubic rami may seem a little bit more hardened or stiffer on this side as well from that trauma of the back of the baby's head hitting up against that pubic rami as it's coming out the birth canal. So in physical therapy, when your patient comes to your office, they may be complaining postpartum of right-sided low back pain because with that left head turn coming out of the birth canal, the sacrum is also going to rotate to the right. So the right side of that sacral base is going to be more jammed up. The coccyx is going to be swinged more towards that right side. And what's also going to happen is the sacrum itself may rotate slightly to the right. So you're going to have a jammed up right sacral base the sacrum's going to be swung to the right, so the coccyx is going to be over to the right, plus the slight rotation of the sacrum itself turned to the right. So the patient may come into the office complaining of right-sided low back pain, and they may also complain of weakness of their pelvic floor, feeling like they're not able to hold their urine, leaking when they sneeze or cough. Um, they may also feel ungrounded so that when they're walking, they don't feel like their feet or their pelvis is sitting right when they're walking. They may be sitting and feeling unlevel where one ischium may be not quite hitting the chair equally. So they may feel one ischium up a little bit higher than the other. Um, these are all signs that the person that you're seeing may be in what we call an open birthing pattern. Laura Quirk from Technique Peak.